If you look at any equipment uh, that is digital, for example, a mass balance, a mass balance you'll see when there's nothing being measured, you might see something like this on the screen. And when you will be recording your value, then you will be recording to the smallest reading that can be taken from the mass balance, in this case, 0 0.001 grams. So then for a mass balance or any other digital equipment, the uncertainty would be the smallest reading that can be taken with that equipment. But for a stopwatch is different because um, even if a stopwatch, usually you'll see this, but because of human reaction time, it takes time for you to see what is happening and then to press the stop button. So because of this human reaction time, which is equal to 0 0.2 seconds, that reaction time is determined by experiments. Um, so it's always fixed. So whenever you're taking reading from a stopwatch, it would always be plus minus 0 0.2 seconds um, and that would be to 1 uh, dp so if I have a stopwatch that shows 23.15 seconds so when I will be recording it with the uncertainty I would be recording it as 23.1 so 1 dp so 1 dp here okay this is seconds Now, so this is showing how results should be reported. So like I've been saying, results are always reported. The value, this is called the experimental value. That is referred to as our A value here. And this is recorded, this is um, the uncertainty or the absolute uncertainty. And this is delta A. So, always record, report the value as the value plus minus the uncertainty in that value. So, it's called uncertainty or absolute uncertainty. So, if the question is asking you to find the absolute uncertainty, it means the delta A here, that plus minus uh, something. Now, this can be obtained by calculations. You'll see afterwards uh, how this can be obtained by calculations. So absolute uncertainty is the uncertainty associated with the result from a given measurement. You have to know this definition. Sometimes it's asked. And from this arises the term relative uncertainty. Relative uncertainty is the ratio of comparing the absolute uncertainty, absolute uncertainty, which is the delta A, and uh, comparing, so absolute uncertainty, which is the delta A, comparing that to the size of the experimental value, which is the value of A. So delta A is to A, so that's delta A over A. So that's the relative uncertainty. And then we have another term, which is percentage relative uncertainty. So it's just a percentage of the relative uncertainty so just multiply by 100 here and relative uncertainty has no units because uh, whatever the unit of the absolute uncertainty and whatever the unit of the experimental value is just going to cancel out so if we take this example 23.1 so let's take this then the relative uncertainty would be equal to so the delta A over A, so delta A. Let's rewrite this. 23.1 plus minus 0 0.2. So then the delta A would be 0 0.2. The A would be 23.1. Okay, you can calculate it, do the maths. And then the percentage relative uncertainty would be just the relative uncertainty times 100 or you can compute it again. 
0 0.2 over 23.1 times 100. Okay, so this has no unit and this one is just a percentage. Okay, if you're doing this, please don't forget to put the brackets. Okay, now try the next question. If you're getting the answers right, you can skip the next video. The next video is going to be working this out in details.